why. So I don't know why, but whenever I go somewhere with my umbrella and have to leave it in one of those umbrella bins, I know my day is ruined because I become so paranoid that somebody might take my umbrella. I spend my entire outing just monitoring my umbrella. It's really stressful. Well, that's a good thing, right? I mean, it sounds like life is good if losing an umbrella is your biggest stress. What do you mean? Well, I mean, if you think losing an umbrella is stressful, imagine having kids, you know? You always have to keep oh, an Oh, sorry, umbrella. of course, of course. I mean, yeah, obviously, if you have a kid, it's way more stressful because then the kid has an umbrella and then you have to put two umbrellas in those things and then you stress about two umbrellas. And the little ones, you can't even see those. They're hard, they're really hard. No, no, I just meant more like kids are stressful, you know? Like imagine losing a kid, that's pretty, that'd be more stressful than losing an umbrella. Oh, yes, yeah. Well, I don't know, because like if you lose an umbrella and you see someone and you think you've seen them taking your umbrella, you're not really going to confront them, because how do you prove it's your umbrella if it's just a generic umbrella? But if someone takes your baby, you're going to know. You're going to be able to get that kid back. I think the umbrella thing is way more stressful. I, I don't, maybe if one day you have kids, you'll, you'll feel differently. Actually, I have been thinking bigger picture and maybe it's time for a bit of a change. Oh, oh my gosh, are you thinking about having a family? Oh no, not like that bigger picture, like medium, smaller picture. Like I'm thinking maybe I'll buy like really distinct umbrellas or I'll start writing my name on them or something. Also, I was with a friend once who said, and then it was raining so much, but someone left their umbrella behind, so I just took it. Wait, what? You can't take someone's umbrella? What kind of satanic circus parade did you grow up in? But they left it behind. Well, now you know what's gonna happen. So about eight years ago, I bought this umbrella. If you know me as a person, you know this umbrella insinuates I'm a much happier person than I am, but I bought it because it's easy to recognize, right? And it's been my longest relationship with an umbrella to date, but it means I'm an incredibly possessive person. There we go, sweetheart. Oh, it's a nice restaurant. Happy anniversary. I, I, I just want you to know it's it's not an engagement ring. It's a promise ring. No, it's still a sign of commitment. Why do you have to take every little thing that I do and turn it into something nasty? Oh yeah, bring up your cousin again. Like that. Natalie. Hi, Caprice. Hi, what are you doing here? Oh, hello. Natalie's umbrella. Hey, that's enough. Who are you here with? Oh, pff. I'm here with some umbrella that I picked up from a pub. Well, what happened to the umbrella you were with last week? Oh, pff. I left that at like a hairdresser or something. I've had like 12 umbrellas since we last spoke. Why are you flirting? I don't know, are you guys the same? Do you date umbrellas? No, but do you get really paranoid about them as well? Or am I the only person sitting in a restaurant or cafe with this going on in my mind? Because if I am, that's really terrifying. So please reassure me right now. But more than that, I'd like to know, are you the kind of person who would just take somebody else's umbrella because you believe it's been left behind? My friend also suggested, you know, it all just kind of works out. You take someone's umbrella, they take, no. What is this, the jungle with umbrellas? No. So A, yes, I would take an umbrella. B, no, I wouldn't take an umbrella because I'm a better person than A. Or C, I'm going to make up excuses, but really, I'm an A person. Let me know below. Also, obviously, apologies for the very late upload. I went overseas for a little bit, then I got back and got the flu, if you can't tell from my delightful, phlegmy voice. But to add insult to injury, I started a second channel <laughs> last week to also not upload videos to. But I thought I would start something that's a little bit uh, more kind of casual and laid back. So uh, there's no channel name, so I've just kind of left a link below if you want to check it out. Uh, don't worry, there's no script and no umbrella dating involved on that channel. The umbrella dating stays here. Uh, right after that weird sentence, thank you to my nieces for being in my video. Thank you. When you're older, you can be like, look, remember when humans were humans? Ah. Anyway, hope you guys are really well and I will see you sooner than you think.
That sounds like a threat. Okay, it's porno music slash comment time and I'm glad so many of you enjoyed the sexual tension between Jeff and Judy. Here's the weird, sick thing though. They're already married. Those two. They're role playing. They're not even real cops. And I'm glad uh, so many of you also look up the heights of celebrities. We have too much time on our hands, don't we? I also look up the weight, so don't worry. I do that as well. I don't know why though. It always just comes back less than you, Nat. Of course, they weigh way less than you.